Okay, <laughs> so here's Steve and he's gonna tell us a little bit about this tree. We thought it might be fun to get to know some of our tree friends this winter, so we're just gonna pepper some about now and again. So Steve, what so do we got? I'm gonna tell you about this tree. I'm just gonna tell you what it is. It's an American basswood. And, but to kick this off, I just want to say how, a little bit about how I learned trees, which was in a dendrology class that I had at college. And so we hardly ever used these, which everybody kind of, when you're in high school, you do your leaf collection and you use, and you do all that. Well, we didn't hardly ever use leaves in college because a lot of times the leaves are not on the trees. So we learned things like bark, twigs, buds, form, landscape position, and so forth. And today we'll just talk about two of those things, form and buds. So this, this is a tree that you can actually uh, identify with what I would call a, a single definitive field mark without even looking up. And that is the bud. That focusing. I'm getting it. There's there we go. There's very few uh, trees that would end up being, uh, you know, a tall overstory tree that has that would have alternate red, but once I alternate the arrangement, but we're not talking about that today. But uh, reddish buds like that in the winter time. So basswood is the, is the main one. There may be others, so um, that's fine. But for today, let's just focus on what is most of the time true, which is uh, but basswood is the main overstory tree that has these bright red buds in the winter time. And they're seriously noticeable, everybody. I mean, all over, I'm gonna get this to focus again. They're everywhere in here, and they're just like little ornaments, little festive winter holiday ornaments. And my camera says, no, I'm not gonna focus. So let's go back to Steve. So the other feature is form, which would include things like, are the limbs, like this or they hanging down or they crooked or but in this case this is called um i would call these basil shoots some people might call them suckers whatever but they're basically sprouts that come up in response to various things in this case they somebody had cut like here's a stump uh it was a multiple stem get basswood and this was cut off and it responded by shooting up a, a whole bunch of um, basil sprouts. <laughs> it's a lot. So anytime <laughs> I, I see these way off in the distance, I can pick out basswood because of this feature. It's not always there, but it's often there. And then it's great because you, not only can you verify it with buds, you, uh, because these are low to the ground, but obviously you have access to the sprouts, which there would be a whole other video, but there's other things you can look at. And then you can just affirm that, hey, this is part of this tree. So I got myself a basswood. And then if you had your binoculars with you, you could check out the buds up high. Um, so that's the spirit of how probably I would recommend learning trees instead of trying to memorize leaves and uh, features that you can only see during one season, but to learn things that you can see year round because then you can do it year round. That makes sense. So our first friend we've learned is basswood, which is, what's the scientific name? Tilia americana. Okay. We love basswoods. Oh, and where do they tend to grow? Uh, basswoods can grow a lot of places, but this is a good example where they, this is a floodplain here so um, along the Mohican, what is this? Mohican River? Clear Fork Gorge. Clear Fork Gorge in Ohio. And yep. this side of the river, uh, this material here is not, it's kind of medium drainage, so it's not like a backwater slough that's really wet. They, these guys like kind of a medium drain site, kind of like walnuts, but, um, but you can also find them in other forest uh, situations, so um, scattered throughout various habitat types. So that's not one where you're like, I'm on a limestone ridge, it's got to be basswood, it's not connected that way. So. Okay, awesome. Thanks for introducing us to basswood. And next time we'll see who it is. We don't know yet. We don't know yet, but be thinking about buds, twigs, form. What else did I say? 
uh, landscape position, stuff like that, which okay. ties everything together. So then you're walking through the woods, you can make all these connections, and then and then it also tells you a lot about what kind of birds you're going to see, what kind of insects you're going to see, what kind of ground flora you're going to maybe see, and so it's it's more of a holistic approach than just like, you know, I know this leaf. So get excited about trees. Thank you.